So today we're going to talk about NRG versus C9 because it seems like North America has a new best team. Uh, but before we do that, first we need some context for this game and what I'm going to talk about in uh, particular here because I really like the way C9 approach their defense side on Pearl. But first, we need this bit of context. So we're going to just very quickly watch one round of Leviathan versus Furia on Pearl where both teams are running Harbor Viper. And we've seen this become very, very popular on this map. Obviously, Loud started it at lock-in, and uh, although Furia are running a bit of a variation of it with the Neon, uh, you know, it essentially is still a Harbor Viper comp, and this kind of round, right, this five-stack, send it down B, is very, very common, right? And it's also very common to see a Killjoy setup here on the defensive side, you know, with those Nano Swarms that we just saw, basically be the sort of main stopping power, and then it just enters into a spam fest, right? The spike is gonna go down in just a second, and uh, Leviathan actually have a uh, Killjoy lockdown, right? But the spike goes down, there's that Killjoy lockdown, and it's about to come in, and then, okay, DG Zin is gonna get left, but everyone else is just gonna run back here, right? This is like a very, very common round on this map, and it's very, very dull, right? Where it's a five stack go B and the Killjoy setup goes off and the Killjoy's alone here initially and they get the spike down and then everyone just runs back here and then it's just a spam fest on the spike, right? And Leviathan are actually one of perhaps the better teams or if not the best team at uh, actually going for these kind of B retakes. You see DJ's in just trying to, you know, get a kill before the lockdown goes off. He actually uh, can't quite manage to do so. And now we enter just the spam fest, right? The walls go up and no one can see anything. And it's just back and forth, spam, spam, spam. Maybe Viper mollies, maybe Killjoy mollies on the spike as well. And yeah, it's just kind of a, a bit of a random, you know, see what goes on. Now in this instance, you know, I just wanted to show this round because, you know, Khalil gets a 4k here and, and he just shows how crazy this can actually be, right? That you can still manage to win this like that in a 1v4 and still the attackers can manage to win the round. And that is why I found c 9 take so refreshing on this defensive side because they basically said we're not going to let that happen. For a lot of these rounds, they were basically saying we're not going to let you just do the normal, you know, run down B stuff. As we'll see, starting from the very pistol round, right? This was kind of a, a bit of a sign of things to come. You know, the harbor is ready to wall down here. And you see we've got three players ready to come there. And the Kildra setup is on A. And uh, probably more than any other team I've seen C9 put their Kildra setup on the A site rather than on this B site, right? And they were... They had different, you know, various tricks for trying to stop people, you know, actually just doing the kind of exec that we just saw uh, Furia do. And uh, yeah, it started from the very start here. You see they even have this uh, Viper Molly lineup uh, for kind of going towards the back of this platform just here. But in comes all the normal stuff, right? The Harbor Wall, all that. Uh, but they send in their own Molly, right? And their own Flash. And uh, they start to actually push up themselves. And this was a very, very common theme where, yeah, we've got a stack here and we're going to, you know, fight it out. Now, you know, it's a pistol round and all five of NRG are there. So this is going to go a bit back and forth and we're going to actually end up in, uh, in a kind of two for two and we end up in a 3v3 there as it starts to settle down but you could instantly see some of the you know ideas that c9 had and if we just you know run uh run this middle part of the round uh, a bit faster forward actually all of nrg get tagged pretty low as well uh in fact this is going to be uh, quite funny where they get tagged so low that uh, they come towards the turret here and uh, realize that uh, victor has to be the one to destroy the turret uh you know in case <laughs> in case they die uh, the other players and we end up in this uh, 3v2 and uh, nrg obviously being so low you know, we're always, even though, uh, sorry, it's a 3v3, even though it is a 3v3, you know, they are, you know, probably not favored to win, and Jake does manage to get that kill just there. So we end up in a 3v2, and uh, Cloud9 will be able to close it out, but as we'll see in, in the coming rounds, and again, in the next round, they push B-Main, uh, you know, and even dog through, and, and like really push B-Main, and uh, this was kind of a continuous theme of just, we know that you want to go for that classic B post plan, and you know, just that classic B exec, we're not going to lose to that. If you're going to beat us, it's not going to be through the B main exec. Now let's come to the start of round 16. So this is the first full gun round for both teams in this half as well. Uh, actually, C9 
don't have full guns because of the way they bought in the bonus. But again, we get the same kind of idea, right? And it's a very common thing for uh, teams on this map to kind of go for a 3-1-1 default. In this instance, it's actually kind of more of a 2-2-1 uh, where, you know, the focus is often towards a main or in this instance, it's kind of mid for NRG. Uh, but you just get one player kind of, you know, looking towards B. Is anyone actually pushing this? The answer will normally be no, but obviously in C9's case, the answer is, you know, often yes. Uh, and that pushes this player back, right? And so you'll see that's exactly what we get again, where this harbor wall comes out. And again, we've got four players here, right? They're basically saying, we're just going to fight. Any fast B main execs, we're just going to fight it, right? We're just going to fight you pretty much the whole way. And you see the leaf, you know, gets all the way up and, and you know, they, they really do kind of push this. And again, the killjoy setup is on A and look at the map, right? You want to go mid? You want to go A? Don't care. Literally don't care. <laughs> we are not letting you come B. Um, and uh, eventually Leaf does uh, see Victor here and, and, you know, okay, they see each other and now uh, C9 do decide to come back. But again, in this round, you know, Rooney actually only has a Sheriff. So he's holding down, you know, this whole kind of A side of the map with just a Sheriff. And again, they don't care about losing mid. You know, they don't care about losing A. They'll just, you know, happily retake those spaces if necessary. But they're just not going to let you, you know, come down on B. That was kind of a, a big focus for them, particularly early on in this half, was to condition NRG to say, that's not going to happen. Now, in the rest of this round, Leaf is about to go absolutely crazy. Uh, and uh, we'll get to show uh, one of his crazy clips. But you see NRG walking around in mid, right? Wondering exactly what they want to do. Eventually, they will come towards the safe site. The dog comes out uh, down towards uh, B link just there. And uh, we get Leaf up into this position, and he manages to kill uh, FNS there on that nice little off angle. Manages to escape as well, and so uh, we end up in this uh, 4v5, but the spike will go down. And now we're just going to see uh, Leaf go a bit crazy as a Harbor ult and a Killjoy ult are going to come in from N NRG. And so you'd think, you know, they're going to have uh, a decent chance of this, but yeah, Leaf just kind of goes crazy and just goes kind of abo above all of the Harbor walls and stuff like that. So you see the Killjoy lockdown coming in there. Up he goes somehow gets the kill on victor there that's kind of a crazy crazy kill and then just as crashies is kind of running out of bullets and just as this lockdown is about to go off zapper is able to kill crashies and even though four players get detained and it would have been interesting to see what happened if crashies would have lived there you know just as the detain went off could he have managed to get all four kills i'm not quite sure would have been very interesting to watch though uh but c9 again clearly with that game plan of we're not gonna let you come in on b if you want to go a go for it but we're happy enough with our retakes and uh yeah they were just very very heavy shutting down these b main plays early on but now let's come later on into the half because of course you can't just keep doing the same idea over and over again nrg you know would just exploit that and you know they took timeouts and they could talk about hey they're being really aggressive on b so you can't just do that all the time so there has to be a second layer to this and c9 did have a second layer to it as we will see in round number 20 which is gonna just be you know that that b hit coming in they do go for this cascade to try and you know maybe create the illusion that yeah we are still going to be aggressive but this time it's just leaf with an op here and he actually gets uh, caught by the sky flash there so has to retreat but we aren't really too interested in what's going on down here because we're really interested in what c9 are doing here because you can see they've gone for this hard wall and now they're going to go for this mid push and so as leaf is kind of confirming yep multiple people you know are on their way it seems like this will be a b hit these two manage to actually push all the way up through mid and are looking for this fast flank so as the harbor ult comes in and leaf kind of has to retreat and give up the site you know this fast flank is coming in with the obvious idea of again we are not gonna let you just sit back here and spam us to death right we're gonna pinch on you if you're gonna be there you're not just gonna be able to you know just solely aim at the spike we're gonna create a distraction we're gonna try and pinch on that position instead with this fast flank through mid and mid is not an easy place often to you know try and, and take as the defenders you know you kind of have to push out these small choke points into you know multiple crossfires potentially and it can be pretty dangerous but if you know that these teams want to just send it down B as a big five stack, which is a common common play, then, you know, going for these kind of fast flanks is going to be, you know, one way of potentially stopping it as well. Now, they actually have a killer lock down here, C9 as well, which is going to push these players back. Some kind of gets left as a bit of a sacrificial lamb and he will uh, he will die here in a second some as he does get detained. And so uh, we end up in a 5v4 and C9 start to come in for this retake. So they see some just there and here's our, here's our flank, you know, creating pressure from a different way. So these players can't just sort of stay there and, and Finesse does get a trade. But now, you know, they have to be worried about the behind as well. 
right? They, they're still worried uh, potentially about someone coming from behind. Uh, Artis actually does use a raise ult, but you see we managed to kill Artis there. Crashy trades it out, but again, we've created enough of a distraction here to where we end up in a 2v1, and uh, Zelsis will use his Harbrol and trade that kill just there. And uh, look, it's not going to go perfect every time. This this B site is still going to be pretty hard to defend. But you see that C9, they managed to get this defuse here with Zelsis uh, just at the end there. And uh, the defensive half I was very impressed with, right? That they came in with a very, very clear game plan, I would say, right? That this is what they are going to do. They are not going to let you plant B uh, and, you know, come back there. They're going to fight that as much as they possibly can in different ways. But this is how I expect a lot of teams going forward will fight this B kind of pearl area. The days of just putting a Killjoy there and hoping that that Killjoy will be able to stop them are, are over. I don't see, I mean, if teams are still, are still doing that, then they're just going to get exploited because they are just going to lose to teams who will just come back here and spam you because a Killjoy is just not enough. So I think we will start to see more teams probably lean in if they are playing these Harbor Viper comps to C9's kind of plan of playing this very aggressively. And uh, then we'll see what the adaptation to that will be, whether, you know, it's a lot of fast A hits or something like that. We will have to see, you know, a lot of fast A splits, stuff like that. We will have to see. But I think C9, I was definitely impressed with the way that they kind of approached this map, changing up their comp with a very clear game plan.